is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony behind me we have here the 2020 chevy equinox courtesy of apple chevrolet in york pa and so i have picked out the top trim line this time went with the premiere so what do you say let's just jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so to start there will be several different trim levels for the 2020 equinox first one being l starting at twenty four thousand nine hundred ninety five dollars ls starting at twenty seven thousand four hundred ninety five dollars the LT for 28695 and lastly, the premiere, the one we have today, starting at $32,595. And so, with all of those trim levels, that was pricing for the front wheel drive. If you wanted to go with the all wheel drive setup, simply add $1,600 to any of those prices. But so then actually, regardless of trim level, there is one standard engine setup across the board. 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 170 horsepower, 203 pound feet of torque, sent to front wheels or all wheels through a six speed automatic, giving you MPG numbers at 26 in the city, 28 on the highway for the front wheel drive, 25 city, 27 highway for the all wheel drive. And again, that is the standard engine setup. There is one optional engine setup for the Equinox. That one being the one we actually have today, the two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder. And this engine setup is actually gonna be available as an option for the LT and the Premier trim levels. But this one puts out 252 horsepower, 260 pound feet of torque quite a substantial difference there. Again, sent to front wheels or all wheels through a nine speed automatic, another substantial difference there as well. Giving you MPG numbers at 22 in the city, 28 on the highway, same highway MPG number as the 1.5 liter. That's kind of interesting. But, and so with us having the two liter turbocharged four cylinder today, I gotta admit, considering the size of the Equinox, it was definitely plenty of get up and go. And again, it's over 250 horsepower, so plenty of power. Definitely not gonna have any issues with merch onto the highway to go along with that when it comes to braking braking definitely felt good as well 16 inch front disc 16 inch rear discs are going to be the standard setup and if you want with that two liter that's actually going to bump the front size rotors up to 17 inches in the front so a little extra stopping power for a little extra horsepower so that definitely makes sense as well also wanted to mention there is an electronic parking brake just behind the shifter there so no stomping on anything with your left foot or anything like that braking feel definitely felt nice as well Touching on suspension and handling, up front you're gonna find a McPherson strut front suspension, in the back a four link rear suspension. As far as ride quality goes, I would say it was as expected. Wouldn't say it was quite as plush as let's say the Chevy Traverse, but at the same time, you're not gonna have any issues going on long road trips if you wanted to in the Equinox. Steering feel is, meh, once again, as expected. <laughs> when it comes to SUVs, the steering feel is quite often on the looser side of things, so it's not as heavy of a weight to it, which kind of makes sense. I just prefer a little heavier of a weight, so no issues there either. Cabin noise is definitely quite quiet. Not too many exterior noises coming into the cabin. And touching on visibility, this is one area where I was definitely impressed. I know it's a smaller SUV, and you're typically not gonna have any issues there, but I could see great out the back. And sometimes with SUVs, it's not always the case. With the Equinox, you definitely have amazing visibility. Then we'll also jump into safety real quick. There is a blind spot monitoring system on this Premier that we have today as well. So when it comes to merging lanes, that's gonna be helping you out when it comes to visibility as well. But now let's make our way to the exterior because there's some new colors actually on the 2020 Equinox, including chocolate metallic, midnight blue metallic, and cayenne orange metallic. I love that cayenne orange metallic. You guys should go to Chevy's website and kind of spec that one up. It's kind of cool. Up front, you're gonna find a front grille that will actually differ slightly Slightly depending on the trim level that you go with. Halogen headlights are gonna come standard with the L and LS trim levels. You're actually gonna get HID headlights if you went with the LT, and then LED headlights are gonna come with the Premier. So a wide variety of headlight options if you were curious. All trim levels, however, are gonna give you that automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark out, whichever headlight setup you go with, they're gonna automatically turn on because it's gonna detect that darkness. Also, LED daytime running lights are gonna come standard, and if you wanted fog lights like you're looking at right now, simply go with the Premier trim level there. Then make your way to the side of the Equinox. Roof rails are gonna come standard with the Premier that we have today. They're gonna to be available for the LT. Rear privacy glass comes with all trim levels. Taking a look at the side mirrors, though, black mirror caps are gonna come with the LS and L. Body color side mirrors are gonna come with the LT and you're gonna get chrome mirror caps if you went with the premier trim level. And actually all of those side mirrors, they're all gonna be heated. I definitely like that because that's not always the case. So every single trim level is gonna come with heated side mirrors. 
Also integrated turn signals that you're looking at now are gonna come with the Premier, but let's take a look down now at the wheel setup. 17 inch aluminum alloys are gonna come with the L, LS, and LT trim levels. If you want with the Premier, you will find 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels, and actually there are some 19 inch available wheel setups too. Then make your way to the back rear spoiler with the integrated brake light will come standard just below that a rear window wiper. LED taillights are going to come with the Premier trim level and just below all of that a single exhaust outlet if you want with the 1.5 liter. However, if you want with the 2 liter you will find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips and of course that is the one we have today. So as always, even though we're in an SUV, let's go ahead and start it up and here is that exhaust clip. But now, so since we are round back to open that rear hatch, there actually is a hands-free power lift gate with the Premier trim level. All other trims, including the LT, LS, and L, are gonna come with a manual lift gate, so it's not all bad, but once opened up, cargo capacity behind that second row is gonna come in at 29.9 cubic feet, so decent amount back there. There's also some grocery hooks back there, and I was surprised to find some in-floor storage, and actually quite a bit of it, too. It goes back a little deeper there than you might have thought, so good bit of space back there also some nice levers back there to fold down those rear seats also found that pretty convenient because otherwise it would be kind of a stretch to get to that second row but either way once that second row was then folded down cubic feetness comes in at 63.9 so decent amount of space for the equinox there making your way up to the rear legroom that comes in at 39.9 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there so my opinion plenty of space for a six foot adult there is also a rear center armrest with cup holders and rear ventilation back there as well and plenty of usb hookups two of them actually i shouldn't say plenty there's two of them so if you got two rear passengers or smartphones they're going to stay connected back there then make your way to the front seats l l s and lt trim levels are going to come with cloth finishes you will get leather surfaces if you go with the Premier and heated front seats if you go with the Premier as well and there are ventilated front seats available that is an optional thing it doesn't come standard with any particular trim level but it's going to be there for you if you want to option it but taking a look at this steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping and it will actually come leather wrapped if you went with the Premier trim level only so I do happen to like that today <laughs> when it comes to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here you have your Chevy logo on the one side end. When you flip it over, lock, unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and that circular button in the middle, that is gonna be your remote start. That is gonna come specifically with the Premier trim level. However, you will actually get a keyless entry with a push button start for every single trim level. I love that. That is definitely not the case on the base trim levels of most vehicles out there. So you gotta appreciate the keyless entry. But once started up, tachometer on your left, speedometer on your right, those gauges will do a full sweep. And there is a small digital display front and center giving you things like a digital speedometer how many miles you have left until you hit empty when you need your next oil change some audio information bluetooth info and a ton of other things you can scroll through up there let's take a look at overall interior quality you will actually get an overhead sunglass holder with the lt and premier trim levels dual zone climate control is going to come with the premier and the premier is actually also going to add a wireless phone charger also universal home remote aka the garage door openers for up to three different garage doors actually and if you wanted a panoramic sunroof like we have today again it does not come standard on any trim level but it is available for the lt and premier trim levels as an option if you wanted it so definitely lending in a ton more light today but overall at least in this premier trim level that we have today everything is finished quite nice i do appreciate the wireless phone charger up there again there's another usb outlet and a phone charger and a 12 volt power outlet up there just behind that you're going to find a couple cup holders and once again that electronic parking brake then just behind that another little cubby area where there's actually led lighting lighting that up that's pretty cool and there's a little tray in there along with a couple usb charging ports as well so that was pretty cool but now let's make our way to to the tech display seven inch color touchscreen display comes standard with the l ls and lt trim levels premiere is going to give you an eight inch color touchscreen display and that's what you're looking at right now but actually either way you're going to get bluetooth and audio streaming as well as android auto and apple carplay meaning if you have a smartphone simply hook it up to the equinox and you will get free navigation through that android auto or apple carplay it's always nice as well as the ability to like and dislike your pandora songs up there 
factory navigation is available if you wanted it. You can, of course, also check out your radio settings. And when it comes to the sound system on the Equinox, six speaker sound system is actually gonna come standard for every single trim level. So that is the standard setup. Then there is a seven speaker Bose sound system available as an option for the Premiere. That is the one we have today. So as always, let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this hot, hot morning here. And let's test out the clarity of this one. Dang, that bow system hits hard, man. Ton, 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 ton of bass. Absolutely very impressed with the bass. And I always say this, I've had Bose sound systems in my cars before. They have never failed me. Nothing is ever broken. Definitely a solid sound system for the Equinox there. But so then last thing on the tech I wanted to mention is when you do put the Equinox in reverse, you will find a rear view camera for every single trim level. However, if you went with the Premiere that we have today, you will find an HD, a high definition rear view camera. And actually it's more than just a rear view camera. It is a 360 degree camera. It is a side view camera it is an everything view camera from outer space it is definitely quite nice you can see a little picture of the equinox on there so a ton of different views there i definitely quite fond of that but as always that is going to lead us into safety and so to start front side and side curtain airbags will come standard in the back you're going to find latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also rear child door locks back there tire pressure monitoring system that's all the basic stuff but all trims will also give you a forward collision alert system, front pedestrian braking, and automatic emergency braking. That's definitely nice. Premier trim level is going to add that blind spot warning with rear cross traffic alert system I already told you about, lane change alert, rear park assist, and an auto dimming rear view and side mirrors. Again, that is for the Premier. And so, but that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay out.